Yo, what's up guys? Old School Dan here and in this video I'm going to be sharing Arnold's full body routine from The Education of a Bodybuilder by Arnold Schwarzenegger. I found it, I had um, purchased the book and I was just scrolling through it. I was like, let's see what Arnold um, has to share. I think it was one of his first books that he made and I found a full body routine, a four day routine, a five day, uh, I think five or six day routine and I thought the full body routine was pretty cool because somebody had commented on my video, what's a generic um, silver air routine look like and the one I'm about to share with you right now is a pretty generic silver air routine it's like it's very basic the rep range is very basic um, you know it's full body three days a week and it's a great example of what a generic silver air routine is with that being said let's jump right into it all right so we're gonna go over sets reps rest time workout length etc etc first of all each exercise is gonna be three sets each that means we're gonna have we're gonna be doing uh, an exercise for each muscle group, like the forearms, the back, the chest, legs, etc., etc. Three sets each. Everything gets three sets each. Every exercise that I will list in the next slide gets three sets each. And the rep range is eight to ten reps. Meaning you can stop at eight reps, or you can stop at eight, um, nine reps, or you can stop at ten reps. But you want to make sure you fail around that eight rep range at eight reps or nine reps, or fail at ten reps. And if you're doing like eleven reps or twelve reps, then you gotta add five pounds on there or something all right so with with every set you finish you want to get 30 to 45 seconds of rest in between now a lot of the this is a common question i get people ask me how much time do i need in between changing an exercise so say you finish um you finish the bench press now you're going to move on to training back how much time of rest do you need in between so you can so you then you're allowed to start training back you get what i'm saying um, so that that is like three minutes. Get it like a you can do three minutes. You can two two minutes, just enough to catch your breath and just keep going. I believe in Steve Reeves dynamic muscle building or classical physique. He says three minutes in between exercises. Can't really remember, but yeah, three minutes would probably be good. And this workout should take about forty five minutes to an hour long. I mean, if you're like following the thirty five to thirty to forty five seconds of rest in between. Um, you're doing the three sets. The, uh, the, the, if you're doing the uh, reps not super slow, then you should finish within 45 minutes to an hour. I did something similar to this workout today, except I, uh, I had to take a little bit more time because a lot of people were hogging the machines and they're on their damn phone, so they wasted a lot of my time and it ruined my workout. I added like an extra like 30 minutes just waiting around for a damn machine. All right, so anyways, frequency, two to three days a week. Full body, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or you can do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, I mean Friday, uh, Sunday, I mean Thursday, Sunday, sorry, uh, Friday, Sunday, maybe, I don't know, just, you can do two, three, two to three days a week, you know, if you're feeling too sore from um, the first workout, then just skip a day and then do continue on, on uh, if you skip two days and then continue on Thursday. Yeah, that's right. So you can do two days a week or you can do three days a week depending on how you feel. Remember, again, listen to your body. That's something Lyric Cobra says. I learned a, a good lesson from him because today I felt like shit. I felt like, damn, I have to do five sets for legs, five sets for hamstrings, six sets for uh, calves, um, five sets for chest, five sets for, uh, for back. Damn, I don't really feel like doing that today. So I listened to what Lyric Cobra said about like, Listen to your body. If you don't feel like doing that volume today, don't do it. It's gonna make the workout worse. So I did three sets. I did. I followed this routine actually, and I fin and I finished, and I felt great. Like I didn't feel like super tired. I felt like I had decent energy at the end of my workout. I didn't kill myself, and it was just a nice thought to like listen to your body and to not force yourself through a workout you don't really want to do because then you're gonna have a shitty workout. You see what I'm saying? You're like, ah, oh, I gotta do five sets for legs. Six sets for calves. Oh my gosh, I gotta keep going. Then I have to do. Then I have to do five sets of chest. See how that kind of like it, de it like demotivates you. If that's even a word, that's why you know if you don't feel like doing that much volume, don't do it. Don't force yourself to do it. You gotta listen to your body, be intelligent, and go with how you feel. And I feel like that's the that's the best success you'll get from lifting. All right, so let's move on to the exercises. Enough of that spiel. All right, so we're here with the exercises. You're gonna start off with the bench press. Of course, you're gonna wanna warm up with some like dumbbell swings like D steve reeve says in his book some some dumbbell swings one set of 20 reps um make sure you want to get that rotator cuff nice and warmed up maybe two sets of uh you know 
that that exercise I forgot what that exercise is even called to warm up that rotator cup up down side to side you want to make sure you're warm around that area maybe you can do 10 minutes of cardio like Steve Reeves says you can do some power walking you can go on the treadmill you can do any of that type of stuff just to get the body warmed up for a workout and you know of course you could warm up some weights you can do like a set of like a light set of like uh some dumbbell I think I already said dumbbell swings anyway sorry yeah make sure you're warmed up so that way you don't pull any damn muscles that really sucks all right so you're gonna start off the workout with the bench press then after the bench press you're gonna move on to the wide grip chins if you can do wide grip chins go ahead and just do some pull downs but I mean get into the habit of getting good at body weight exercises because they're king like dips is the upper body squat if you never tried dips before you know if you never tried dips before and you try them you know that they're they're fucking hard but if you've been doing them for a while, you're like, damn, this is kind of easy. But they're still difficult, no matter like um, how strong you get. You know, these are the these these two exercises right here, um, and the ones I'm about to, the two exercises I'm talking about is the dips and the pull-ups. Those are exercises you want to get good on, keep progressing. You always want to keep them as a staple in the in your routine because they're they're just really good exercises to get to get good at. They they help you progress like. I've been doing, um, I've had chins in my uh, routine for like ever, and my back just keeps getting wider and wider. So yeah, after the bench press, move on to some wide grip chins. If you can't do the chins, do lat pull downs, and then move on to some military press. Military press is just barbell press. So I mean, that's just the old term for it. That's barbell press. Then after the barbell press, you're gonna move on to the barbell curl. Barbell curl. After barbell curl is French press. After the French press is squats. Then you got leg curl. Then you got calf raises. Then you got sit-ups with the legs bent, which is kind of like your feet are a little bit elevated and you're doing sit up It's kind of like sit-ups on a, on a decline bench sort of. And then you finish off with some wrist curls. Those are the ones that have the underhand. And you just come up and squeeze your forearms together. I mean upward. And that's the whole entire workout. I did a workout similar to this. I had to change up some things because like the, the leg curl was taken. The... Um, the the bench press was taken and just a bunch of, it's taken by a bunch of people who are just freaking texting you like like come on man like literally saw three people in a row sitting just looking at their phone for like five minutes five or ten minutes and I was like dude are you serious I'm here to work and you're over here bullshitting I was like man you know what? I need to switch gyms because this is some bullshit because twenty four hour fitness is just like it's just some bullshit you know people be on that bullshit when they come in the gym and it's just I don't like it I, I I'm tired of dealing with it. I need some I need some good energy around here because I'm on a mission. All right, so yeah, that was the full body workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Like you know, if you want to try out an exercise for another exercise, I can recommend another exercise for you. If you can't do that exercise, that sounds like a mouthful, but yeah. And with that being said, subscribe for more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'm Oscar Dan. I'm gone. Peace.